This is a 1 8 inch mesh piece. The holes are uh, 1 8 inch apart. There's our penny, so you can see how close that is. So, very, very large holes. We also have one quarter. I didn't have a sample here to show you, but that's that. Next size is what's called 1526 micron. Uh, the whole size in those are about 1526 microns apart. A micron is, um, a thousand micron is a millimeter, so this is 1.536 millimeters of a hole. So, let's see how close that is. The next one is a thousand micron. You notice we're much closer here. This is bigger than a window screen, but not a whole lot bigger. You can see how close that looks there. Next one is 800 micron. 800 is very, very close to the size of a window screen. I think a window screen is about 850, roughly, but this gives you, you can see just how close that penny is in relation to the whole size on there. Next size down is 600 micron. Put a penny on there. You notice these holes are a little bit smaller, but not a whole lot smaller than, um, than the 800. This is a mesh that's been used for a long time. Uh, restaurants like to use this to filter vegetable oil. It's very nice to do. Um, we build an awful lot of drum filters out of this, several bucket filters. It's just a nice, nice mesh. Uh, you can also use it for mashing grain. Um, 800 is better for straining a mash. 400 is a little bit better for doing the grain mash itself. But 600 is kind of a, an in-between. Next one is 500. We brought our 500 in specifically at the request of some beer brewers a while back that wanted uh, 500 mash strainers, 500 micron. That means that it's a 0.5 of a millimeter in its hole opening. So that's a really nice screen. It's one of our newer ones that we have, but we can build bucket filters, drum filters, beer filters, pretty much anything you like. We also sell the stainless steel mesh as well. This is 400 micron. 400 has been a staple of ours uh, from the beginning. It's probably the most popular size for uh, restaurants to use for straining the vegetable oil out of their fryers. It tends to capture the majority of the flour particles, uh, but leaves quite a bit of stuff behind. It's also excellent for uh, whole leaf hops. Um, so a lot of our beer filters that we make in 400 micron are perfect for whole leaf hops. So um, I don't have a 300 micron here to show you, but I but 300 is very popular for pellet hops, and that's primarily what we build most of our beer filters out of, is the uh, 300 micron. This is 234 micron. Put a penny on there. This one was brought in specifically for some people that were interested in using it in the manufacture or cleaning of medicinal marijuana in states where it's legal. Um, it, I, we don't know specifics of why they like it, it's just we specifically brought it in for that and it has been used for that purpose quite a bit. We can also build any other filter out of it, it's available as well. Next size down is 177 micron. 177 micron is very popular with uh, biodiesel dry wash towers, resin towers and such. We've used it for several years. It retains the resin very, very well, so it does a good job. The next size down is 149. I don't have a sheet of that here, but it's one that we do offer. Uh, it's a little bit flimsier than the 177. The next one, though, is 120 micron. This one is another one that was brought in specifically for the medicinal marijuana group. They uh, asked for this one specifically, so we carry it and we build several different filters out of that as well. So the next size down, we move into what's called a Dutch twill weave, and it's 100 micron. And I, I don't have a sheet of 100 micron here, but it's extremely popular for smaller size filters. After 100, though, we go into 74 micron. 74 micron we have used for just about everything under the sun. Um, in particular, cold brew coffee brewers love this size of mesh. It tends to retain the coffee grounds behind while letting the cold brew coffee go through. Um, gives a nice, rich flavor, we're told, and just in general, does a really, really good job. So we build a lot of our cold brew coffee filters out of this mesh. 
Next one is 43 micron. 43 is nice and stiff. I don't know if you can tell that here, but it's just a very stiff metal. Very fine metal. It's a twill Dutch weave as well. But uh, it's uh, very, very, very fine. We've had a few coffee brewers use this one. Um, most of our coffee brewers like to go to 74. People say that this one tends to retain so much it goes a little bit too slow, but it is popular one. We've had it for several years and we do use it. We can make a bucket drum, um, any kind of filter you want out of the 43 micron. If, if it gets really big, we do tend to back this one with a thousand micron backer simply because it does need some strength to it. So that's that. Next one is uh, 15 micron. 15 micron looks, feels like tin foil to my hands. It's a very, very, very fine material. Uh, you can literally score it with your fingers. I'll put this on here. It's very, very shiny. Um, we don't sell a whole lot of filters in 15 micron. I do have some hot co uh, brewing coffee people that have used it and um, expressed some interest in it. Um, it is just, in my opinion, a very, very, very fine, fine, fine material. Um, so that's 15 micron. And then our final one is five. This feels like paper to me. It tears like paper. It looks like paper. It just, it's very, very flimsy. Extremely small. It's got a, a nominal micron of two and an absolute micron of about eight. So it's just a very, very fine micron mesh. Um, you can see just on my edge, just how easy this stuff is to bend. I mean, it's just feels like tin foil, even more so than the 15. So those are the different sizes of mesh. We uh, sell mesh in five and six by six or 12 by 12 sheets, or we can custom cut it to any square foot increment you want. They come on 48 inch or 36 inch wide rolls. Uh, we build um, stainless steel bucket filters, drum filters, wine filters, beer filters, you name it out of these materials. They're available on our website at utahbio.com. If you have questions, feel free to call. We're happy to walk you through it. We also have a great article that shows all of these meshes um, along with pennies and different things so that you can get an idea of what all of them look like together. So thanks for watching. Uh, visit the website utahbio.com. Uh, give us a call if you have questions and we'll be happy to help you.